Hey, what's going on my paranormal people and fellow paratrippers? You know what I was thinking? What is it about old historic theaters that just have a certain charm, a certain mystique, a certain creepiness? Well, guess what? Today, we are going to be investigating an old historic theater that has all three. And I'm glad you guys are coming along with us. Remember, you are our fellow investigators. It's gonna be a short and quick one, but exciting nonetheless, and I can't wait. So, without further ado, let's go explore and investigate the beautifully historic Crichton Theater in the vibrant, historic downtown of Conroe, Texas. Let's go check it out. Conroe, Texas, located in Montgomery County, about 40 miles north of Houston, was founded in 1881 by the Northern-born Union Cavalry Officer Isaac Conroe. The town has grown from a logging and sawmill hub into a bustling modern city. Conroe became a major hub for lumber production in the early 1900s and saw rapid developments in the advent of the Gulf, Colorado, and Santa Fe Railway, which facilitated the transport of lumber and other goods. Oil discovery in the 1930s spurred economic growth, making Conroe a key oil producing area which earned the town its designation as the Miracle City, when more millionaires per capita live here than anywhere else in the United States. Conroe is one of the fastest growing cities in the U.S. due to its proximity to Houston. The vibrant historic downtown is a charming blend of old and new, featuring a variety of shops, restaurants, and exciting venues that reflect its rich heritage and stunning growth. The downtown area is known for its preserved historical buildings and regular events that draw both locals and visitors. Which leads us to the Crichton Theater. This iconic landmark is not just a center for performing arts, but also possibly unexplained experiences, which has earned the Crichton Theater the reputation as one of the local premier paranormal hotspots. Now, let's say we go in and check it out. Whoa, before we go into the Crichton Theater, this is future editing me. I want to let you guys know that y'all need to watch to the very end of the episode because there's this clip that was going to wind up on the, on the cutting room floor that I was actually going to use as a uh, blooper reel at the end of the episode. And actually, it's still there at the end of the episode, except while editing. We seem to have caught some strange noises, and we need you, our fellow paratroopers, to review that footage and let us know what you think down below in the comments. It's strange, but let us know what you think. So, without further ado, let's go into the Crichton Theater. Director of the Crichton Theater in Conroe, Texas. In Conroe, <laughs> Texas, man, I'm oh excited. God. What a beautiful theater. Okay, so uh, there's nothing going on right now. It's nice and quiet. Right. Tell us a little bit about your theater here. Okay. Well, this theater was built in 1934. It's a vaudeville theater by Harry Crichton, who made his money off the oil boom back in their 20s and 30s. And he built this theater for vaudeville. Uh, Vaudeville never came to Conroe, and it was kind of a dying art at the uh -huh. time. So they converted it into a one-room movie house in the 50s, and in the early 60s it was shut down uh, because they started to make the multiplexes. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so it was laid dormant for many, many years. It had like racks and water and all that in there. Lovely. And some people got together uh, in the community and decided they wanted to renovate it and reopen it as a live theater venue. And in 1979, that's what they did, and we've been operating the same and way ever still since. Still going strong. So I love the theater. I, I love the look. What, what, what style of architecture do you, do you know? Are, are you neoclassical. Neoclassical. Mm -hmm. I love these old theaters, yeah. and especially ones that are haunted. So is. what is going on here? Supposedly, there's some rumors, some, some, stories, some stories, some uh, um, reputation of there possibly being... Let's go in the house. Yeah, let's, absolutely, let's do it. Uh, 
And when they came in to renovate, these walls were covered with false walls. Uh -huh. And when they started tearing down the walls, they found this, and so they had it all restored. To that its is just beautiful. Memory. Really cool. I, I don't know why they would cover it up when they made it a movie theater, but they did. I don't, know. I don't have a lot of information about when it was a movie theater, except one of the legends was that someone was stabbed in the balcony. Ooh. Yeah, um, I'm not sure when that happened. I can't even Verify. find verification on when it when the the dates it was actually a movie theater uh -huh. i just hear from residents you know okay. older residents when they during the renovation somebody was was uh not killed but died accidentally uh, during, wow you know, okay falling uh huh. not sure if that's you know unsubstantiated sure thing. sure but there are several areas of the theater that things happen. My first personal experience was my very first show here in like '94, uh -huh. and I it was a it was a play about a ghost. So we were messing how, with how the, ironic, we were messing with stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. I played this uh, Irish maid, and the owners of the manor. It was uh, I was trying to the uninvited was the name of the play. Okay. They're trying to get rid of a ghost of the, the former wife. She died young and she's supposedly haunting the house. And the maid doesn't want to have anything to do with it. She's superstitious. She's scared of ghosts. She doesn't, they're holding seances and it's making her mad. So I played the maid and there's a scene where uh, some ghostly things are going on with me alone in the manor. And I start talking to uh -huh. the ghost telling her to go away. And that's when the lights on stage went out. And I thought, okay, well, I've never had that happen before. And I look up, up in the light booth up there. Uh -huh. um, the lights were on in there because we had two guys running lights and they're looking at me and they're like, really they have oh, no wow. idea why. And then it, they came back on real slow and went off again. And I was like, and they're like, we don't know what's going on. Is this while during an actual during live? During a performance. People, performance yeah. people were here. And so I just played it off yeah. as a ghost and talked to, oh, you think you're going to mess with the lights? And, uh -huh. you know, and you're not going to scare me. And they finally came back on and we went on from there. But yeah, that was my first experience. Everybody was convinced it was a ghost. There we wow. have a dressing room up here. Uh-huh. We have lots of dressing rooms. Um, there's some original to the building. That, uh, they're really cool. But on this side, we have a dressing room on the second floor and the third floor. And the third floor dressing room is, uh, I don't know, people get uneasy in there. But a lot of times they'll go up there and go, no, no, really? I don't want this room. Okay. And, I, and I'm one, I don't care for it. <laughs> and we can definitely go up there and look at that. Yeah, absolutely. Want. All right, you're, that is really cool. So this is, this is, the Brighton is actually three buildings put together. Okay. And this is part of the Hicks building. So the backstage and the upstairs rehearsal hall are part of the old Hicks building. So this was not part of the original theater? Correct. Okay, got it. Now this room. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get some film of this. The private room. This is the prop closet. Okay. For stage right. There is a, an area that I had my other experience. And that room is actually was used as an office for a long time, but now it's all props. Okay. And this room, I've had things move before. Wow. Yeah. Really? Um, one night in particular, I don't like to come at night or by myself. <laughs> Wow. Because, well, for one thing, it's really dark. Yeah. But one like night this. I was up here putting up some costumes after a show was over, and uh, I heard a noise coming from over there, and I, I turned around, and the whole row of costumes did like the wave. Okay, like something and I was, was like, moving through. Okay, wow. I'm done. <laughs> I just dropped the stuff and then I'm out of here. 32, from 1990 to late to 2021, early 2022, uh -huh. we had a director here, the former director before I okay. took over, his name was James Bingham. Uh -huh. And uh, so he was here for 32 years and 
we actually have him buried here. So I can show you where, where we put him. Yeah, absolutely. And, and tell you the story of where he's buried and why. Okay, yeah. Yep. Let's, let's check it out. So this column right here, it uh -huh. kind of sticks out. It doesn't really go with a lot of stuff. You wonder why it's there. Uh -huh. And it's there because James Bingham wanted it there during construction. He wanted a column built and he wanted it hollow. Hmm. And he said, because one day I will die and that's where I will be buried. Wow. And so they, I don't think they liked it. I think there was some contention about it, but that uh -huh. was the hill he was literally gonna die on was yeah. this column. Oh. So, uh, a few months ago, I had a guy come out, a construction guy come out and take out one of the bricks uh -huh. and we put his ashes in there and still back up. How so now cool he's there. That? And wow. I'm working on a plaque. Well, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> so he's all, and before they did that, we took a couple of teaspoons out. I have a little urn on my desk backstage. Uh -huh. So uh, he's front and back. Okay. The other story I have was is more recent in the last year. Uh -huh. Jim smoked a certain brand of cigarettes that, um, and they had a, a brown tip on them. Okay. I have found, and he never smoked in here. This is a tinder box. You can't smoke in here. Okay. It's dangerous. Sure. He always smoked out front. Um, but I am where I had cleaned a spot or or something, or I, I went to get something, came back, and there's a brown cigarette butt on the floor. And I've four times. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I'm like, nobody is here. Uh -huh. Nobody was in here smoking. I don't smell anything. Yeah. And like, nobody's here. I'm here usually most of the time during the day. Uh -huh. uh, it's just me, yeah. you know, in the mornings too. So if I'm here in the morning, and so yeah, and it's always been backstage. Below us, uh -huh. right over here, is uh, Red Brick Tavern. Okay. So they, t we used to have that space to store things in okay. and build it. Yeah. Uh, but they took it over and made a restaurant in that portion of the Hicks building. Okay. This is one of the old dressing rooms. It's original to the prank. This wow. is my favorite dressing room. I just I feel, I don't know, old actor energy in here. Yeah, you know? it does. Like, it really it does. It's cool. It definitely has that old original feel to yeah. it. You know? Yeah. And there's two dressing rooms similar to this on the other side of the stage. Okay. The one I told you about on the top floor. That, uh -huh. I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. theater still around that has an old-fashioned working rope fly system that's really cool yeah. a lot of it's electronic now. yeah yeah but that's really cool somebody's over here that wow and, uh, Ooh, and, and then it's flat uh, like strobe light that, was <laughs> Just because of that, that haunted house feel because yeah, it's, it's spooky it's over here <laughs> there we go wow so this is that blue light like, gives it a really <laughs> Spooky feel to it. <laughs> even the light, light yeah. <laughs> even the light doesn't come on. It's really good. It's weird, isn't it? Wow. 
I mean, this panel goes to some old air conditioning ducts. Uh, and there's no bathroom in here. It's just this room that, I don't it's, know. It's meant to be. It's isolated, it's all the way on the third floor. Yeah. You're trying to catch your breath anyway from, from those yeah, yeah, it's very isolated. Yeah, I can see how this is. And it's, you know, it's just different. Okay. It's, it's good to know so we can maybe spend a little time in here. Yeah. So, cool. All right. And then, you know, it's right here is where, you know, you go up to get to air ducts, the upper part of the fly system. Oh, okay. Well, this building is a lot taller than I Oh, no, it's, I, yeah. That, it's really, it's really tall. Yeah. Oh. It's really big. Wow. All right, awesome. This is really cool i can't wait we're gonna focus more on the, the backstage area and, and the uh the dressing rooms and stuff like that but what a beautiful building thank you again so much for opening i, I can't wait to come back and and, and uh you, conroe's grown and changed so much that a lot of good places to eat and yeah. do a little day drink and shh. yeah we got but, bars uh, on either side so. what would you recommend where, where should we hit red brick tavern across uh, if you take a right down simonton uh -huh. and then right okay. next door is fast brew if you like beer so mm. yeah. i do like beer uh, red brick is more americana food and then fast is your beer your beer garden yeah. hard choices but i'm gonna find yeah. one and then we're gonna post up for a little bit i'm gonna wait for the, the crew to show up i'm gonna go and enjoy a beer some food because it's almost, it's lunchtime I think and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get this investigation started I can't wait thank you so much Melody and I'll see you when we get back okay. all right here we go All right, so well, what's your name? Max. Max, and you're with? Um, I'm with Foss, I'm the bar manager. It's, it's Foss Brewery, yeah, right? Foss, Foss Brewery, cool. Yeah. So you also, I mean, y'all are right next to the to the theater anyway. Yeah, we, yeah, we share a wall. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a we, shadow guy or a watcher or what would you say? Would you call it? He, I just call him a casual observer. Casual yeah, observer. So, here, fuck it. Do you want to call yeah. him? We're, uh, where we get a, a weird thing going on here, because down on this end, uh -huh. everything's totally normal. Everything's like just fine. Okay. This is where it gets weird. Huh. So okay. Usually, what what we we'll get at night is when you come to right here. This is where it feels a little different. It's like right about here. Wow. Okay. And uh, there's been times where it's like we're you know back there working at the bar, closing up or whatever. And we just, just a, a dude, just like, really. Yeah, well, I mean, you always catch him out the corner guy. And yeah, you know, yeah. You know, I mean, we've had some wow. glasses move and stuff like that too. Uh -huh. But it's usually like, and then as soon as you look, it's like gone. Yeah. So, Jeez. So that's yeah, giving so, me chills, man. Just think. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, wow. you know, I mean, if you can step right here, to me, the vibe feels different. Like, uh -huh. right, it's it's right here. But okay. yeah, so usually it's kind of one of those things that we're like, I know. Pretty much all of our staff has experienced something weird, and usually I just call them like, "Yeah, best way to do it is just be listen, dude. I'm just, I'm just closing up, trying to get home. Yeah, get out of your hair soon. Yeah, yeah. And you can yeah. stand there all you want, all yeah, day. No, <laughs> but yeah, see, I, yeah. I don't, I don't even like hanging out right here. It's, Jeez. it's a, it's a vibe. It's a, it's a weird. That is just. Yeah. really cool yeah it's uh, the thing is i'm feeling chills but i don't know if it's because of the stories or if it, if it is because of the spot uh, but i feel yeah. like i'm getting chills here it's so, like so i'll we'll show you all something that that's i can't make heads or tails of it but when uh -huh. you, if you think about where that line is where we were just standing yeah which is about right about right here right? okay see a weird line of bricks right here yeah that used to be an old alleyway wall. Oh, there, wow. This okay. used to be an alley. Uh huh. And now we are connected to the crisis. To the actual theater. So, wow. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, though. It's, it's pretty weird. This is the oldest building downtown Conroe, built in 1911. Oh, wow. Okay. The floors are from the 20s, and the ceiling tiles are from the 20s. And, That's so uh, cool. And yeah. It's, so it's, it's original. Cool. Yeah. from the 20s yeah wow it's a pretty cool spot but uh -huh. yeah it's everything out here i mean i don't know 
I mean, for me, the vibe from here, it's just that one spot. Because when yeah. you're in the bathroom, uh -huh. all good. It's just that one spot. It's just that one spot. Jeez, I wonder what happened in that one spot. Uh, That's I, really well, cool. So I'm I'm a pretty hardcore skeptic. Uh huh. But what I've been here almost two years, uh -huh. and it's it's always that spot. It's always that spot. Jeez. And that's where it was kind of like, you know what? Maybe there is something to it. Well, I appreciate it, Max. Yeah, Thanks for the story, and yeah, let me take a look before y'all open up, man. And uh, I'm definitely coming. I'm definitely coming back. Yeah. I love I love me some breweries. Awesome, really so, cool. And our, our beer is awesome. Our, map, our, yeah. our brewer went to brewing school in Munich. So oh, wow. Oh, some good German. Yeah. I'm going to bring my Stein. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Cool. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. All right, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank well, you. Absolutely. Good, man, the wings were awesome. Jeez, what a great recommendation, man. Red Brick Tavern, what a great place to go. Cool, historic little tavern, man. Good food, good beer, oh, hit the spot. And the Red Brick Tavern is also purportedly haunted. Strange things are happening there. So y'all need to check it out when y'all come here and visit Conroe. But anyway, I'm ready to get this investigation started. Let's go. This is uh, Melody, Kelly, Rodney, Rachel, and Mel. Sorry, we were just kidding. <laughs> we, we get really cranky when we're hot. So we'll, we'll <laughs> it, is, it is we'll miserable outside. Well. Jeez, it is hot. I love your outfit. Yeah. <laughs> This, this is the prop room. Props oh, just watch your step. Is that? Okay. All right, we are upstairs in the uh, prop room, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So uh, this is where Melody saw the uh, the wardrobes, the the clothes move like something was. Somebody was walking through them. How do you feel? I feel like there's, I feel like we're not by ourselves. Yeah. It's like this room feels cluttered and full, yes, but it feels like it's full of people. Like there's many of us in here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is there anybody else here with us right now who would uh, like to make contact with us? We're invited by Melody, who's been here for many years that you probably are familiar with. And uh, we want to try to communicate with you. We want to know who is here. For sure. Is there anybody in here? Right We've here. got some stuff that you can make go off if you'd like to like let I'm us seeing. know that you're here. Is it just me? Yeah, we brought devices with us that will help you communicate with us. Some of them, all you have to do is step close to them. And it'll, it'll trigger it. It'll set it off and we'll know it's you. Can you please step up to one of these devices? Or touch one of us? We don't have a lot of time to uh, be here today. So if you can communicate, you can find a way, any way to communicate with us, we would really appreciate it. don't have anything to be scared of us. We're not scared at all. We mean you no harm. Is 
So anyway, you can move something or knock on something. Let us know you're up here with us, if you're here with us. What is that? Is it doing it again? No. Uh, just That's walk. different. That is different. That's not the battery though. No, you just put in a new battery, didn't you? I just put in a new one. Oh, it's cooler over here. Let me. <laughs> Hey, you know what, Rodney? You were right. It does supposedly has a temperature sensor. So when there's fluctuations in temperature, this. It, but do you think maybe with the air conditioning that went off, maybe it's triggered the. See, that's different. That is. This just. That's really different. But it's it's done this before. The tone's getting higher to listen. Yeah, but it's done this before. And remember, I did it over there at the uh, the antique store. There. Okay, let's see. <sighs> That's strange. If you're able to make it light up again. Well, I heard something. I did too. It sounded like it was behind me. Did, it? did it? I thought I heard it in there. I thought I heard it like right here behind me. Yeah, I heard it in there. Really? I heard it over here. That was strange. Well, was we all heard it here. Because y'all are, we're we're pointing yeah, to the like same that place. Either by the way, well, which corner? It, this the one. one that she's pointing at. Really? They right keep here. all these creepy kid clown costumes. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, I see. don't want to see them. I, I had I noticed them. Clown costumes. <laughs> let me see. I gotta see. We're bothering you, aren't we? Oh yeah. It definitely sounded like it was. Now, if anybody would be in this room, it would be Jean Brazier. Jean is that a man? Asian. No, it's a woman. Her office used to be this room. Because I'm oh. feeling man in here for so some man. reason. Okay, could be Jim then. Mm -hmm. Jim or Jean, are y'all here with us? Jim and Jean used to fight a lot. Oh. Jean had very masculine energy. Well, really? there you go. There, there it is. Maybe Jean is here. Jean, can you move some of the clothes like you did before? It definitely feels male. Okay. It feels like a strong guy. And Jean's husband, Pete, was always here with her too. Jim and Jean were the two. They would yeah, headbutt a lot in a day. They so neither one of them really had anything to do with particularly this room? Mm -hmm. No. Except her office was... Her office it? was... She used to keep an office right here. Oh, okay. Jean, are you here with us? Are you still coming to the theater and working out of your office? She used to lock things in there that she didn't want us to touch, like uh, season season ticket holder lists and things like that. She hmm. was the keeper of it. Oh, really? She liked to control everything. I don't particularly like. Oh, yeah. Air conditioning. What's up? Oh, it's a shadow. Oh, really? I, I have my camera going, so uh -huh. I may have caught it. Huh. Well, I caught it. I forgot to bring a shadow. Have you, uh... In here. It kind of popped around oh, the doorway a little bit and went away. Nobody else was moving anything. Let me step out here for a second real quick. I heard something earlier. They were talking about Gene. There was something like a, a very distant metal bang a little Oh, bit, really? Kind of. But it's the, it wasn't out the doors. I'll have to listen to it again. It was kind of bang. Oh, Wait, I'm not. Is that off? It's yeah. Battery died? Battery's dead. Rodney. Battery's completely dead. That is strange. But every time I come up here it's in a different spot. Really? Hold on, the Mona Lisa? Yeah, when I came up here yesterday, I swear I had put that in that prop closet. Uh huh. Uh, a while back, and you don't know how I got back out. No. What? Wow. That picture. Nobody. 
and nobody's right, moved, right, nobody's moved. Nobody's throwing it away. Like I keep telling them, y'all can get rid of some stuff. Get rid of that Mona Lisa picture. We're never gonna need that. It yeah, bugs me. Don't do that. Don't, don't get rid of it. No. She um, needs to be here. It just doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. Now it's just now you got to keep it because now it's an interesting yeah, part of the story. creepy feel because of the uh, the light itself but but Jesus there's no there's no air up here and there's a it's like you can't catch a breath right yeah and I've never been able to get those lights to work right that's strange is there somebody in here we can feel you do you not like people coming up here that was me I just went Oh, split my hair out of my eyes. <laughs> it sounded like it came out. Yeah, it did sound right. <laughs> Is there a reason why this room has a creepy feel to it where people don't like being in here? Is there, it's is there a reason? It's my room. Is what pops in my head. Okay, I know you I don't can't like this in, in here. here. I'm okay. But I can't see. That's all the dark. Okay. No, you're good. Now I can see there's a floor. Ooh. Right here's better. Mm -hmm. No, it's just the second you walk in. Is that how you feel every time you have to come in? Okay, no. Mm -hmm. But you don't come in here just because you ever get like an urge just to come up here and walk. No. You don't want to just come up here and play. No. <laughs> well, no, because that's, that's maybe that's spend important. spend a night here, <laughs> yes. roll I out the cot. I didn't know if you were ever just drawn to this room. No, I'm repelled for this room. That's how I feel. I feel like, yeah, I don't even want to go inside. I can breathe just right here outside of this door so much better. Because oh, is when, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When that and it was not goes on the fritz, the guys that are in here will tell me. The light in the third floor dressing room is out. Me, me and Ronnie will step out and see if it changes anything. I'm going to keep the camera rolling here. Do you not like that I fix things around here? Because I do, every day, and you know it. Do you not like me fixing the light? Is it okay for men to use this room? Is it okay for women to use this space? Okay, so men and women. So you're going to be okay with people coming in here and you're going to leave them alone? No, you don't like it because I'm like talking not nice to you. You're a woman. That's what it feels like. It's like you're just a woman. Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh. It's like very mis misogynistic, maybe? Yeah. I mean, because, like, like anytime I see the women up here, they turn around and say, no, I'm not taking that room. But I'll send some men up here and they're fine. Yeah. It could just be the whole creepiness of, you know, the creep factor of it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's before you're it's be psychological. <laughs> There's no bathroom that might Oh yeah, that too. I need you to communicate with us something a little more definitive. If you're here, can you please move something? Touch something? Come up the stairs. We'd like to hear you. I have another another device here on the table. That's where I thought I Oh, did y'all hear something? Can you do it again? I'm not recording it. Can you walk up the stairs again or make some noise? Because otherwise, I think I'm going to turn this room into the women's dressing room. Or is that too creepy? Shh, shh, shh. What'd you hear, Mel? It sounded like a, something in here, some sort of movement. And then it sounded like something, but it's not coming from the other side of this wall. That's brick. I know, that's why I'm not hearing it. I don't know what I heard the other thing was. Huh? I thought it 
they say it kept on or something. I heard a creak or something. Make the music box here while I heard you over here. Can you make it that noise again? Touch one of us something. Like, I have to admit, you're kind of boring me right now. Hey, y'all, be still. I'm going to go into this little room right here because I swear it sounds like stuff's coming in from in this room. Oh, this is another dressing room. Make the music box go off. Just walk in front of it. Or put your hand in front of it. Something. Say like what the? <laughs> you know, there's something to that prop room because yeah. well, th this big ass battery that I had, yeah. I have two of them. They're fully charged. It was draining yeah. fast. I mean, it was down to like just a few more minutes. I just put on this battery here, and it's full, and it's not nearly. It's not draining. I mean, it's draining like it normally would. Yeah. But in that prop room, it made it drain faster, which drained the battery in the, the REM pod. There's something in that prop room. There's yeah. something going on yeah. in there. There's yeah. a lot of energy in there. Yeah. yeah. That is strange. Yeah, you know, a lot of it could be the objects in there and the clothing, where they came from. It may not even necessarily be that connected to the theater. Yeah. All right, guys, we're here in the, uh, the main theater area. And uh, it was pretty quiet upstairs. Well, we, we thought we heard some footsteps, but uh, it was generally pretty, fairly quiet. Other than that, uh, there's something in the prop room, though. The prop room batteries were drained really quick in there, which is really strange. But anyway, it's, it's going to be a short investigation. We're going to probably spend the rest of our time in here and see if we can capture anything, if we feel anything on the main stage. So here we go. What was that? What happened? Was that you, Rachel? What? Hearing the voice? Yeah, I asked if it would make a case Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure. All we need is just one loud noise of anything, and then we'll get out of your hair. Break a leg or something, I don't know. Heck was that? Was that you? I thought it was a motorcycle outside. No, I heard something after that. No, there was a bang after that motorcycle. No, that was a, that was not the motorcycle. That was a loud bang in here. Actually, towards your area, where I heard it from. What I heard was Gabe's direction too, but I thought it was that motorcycle. Yeah, I didn't hear anything over here, so it was motorcycle. Okay. We'll chalk it up to motorcycle. That wasn't anybody? No. I heard that up towards you guys. Melody, is that your chair? No. No, she, 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 yeah, she, she hasn't moved, nothing moved. Did you hear her too?
Wow, how much fun was Conroe, Texas? From its historic downtown to its cool venues, Conroe perfectly blends small town charm with big energy, especially on the weekends. Whether you're strolling past beautifully preserved buildings, enjoying live music, or sampling local eats, Conroe's downtown area truly comes alive with a vibe that's hard to resist. But if there's one spot that really stands out, it's the Crichton Theater. This historic landmark isn't just a beautiful venue, it's a centerpiece of Conroe's artistic spirit. With its captivating architecture, rich history, and famously haunted reputation, the Crichton Theater offers a unique experience you won't find anywhere else. Thank you so much, Melody, for, for having us, for letting us come out and, and, and investigate and then giving us that time and so much fun. You guys, thank you for coming along. Remember, you guys are our fellow investigators, but you let us know what, what you think and especially what we've caught you. We want you guys to chime in below and let us know what you think. And, and if you're from the area and if you know any other place around here that we should go, that we should include in one of the episodes, by all means, let us know comment down below so anyway guys uh stay safe stay healthy and please click like and subscribe especially if you share because you're going to help us help these really amazing cool places that we go to like the, the Crichton theater and like always we're doing our small part to keep history alive one ghost story at a time so anyway guys we'll see you on the next paranormal road trip peace The dressing room to the right is the one I like to use. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Because of the energy in it. This one has. Like this dressing room has, has okay. a good feel to it. What was that? What? I don't, Melly. We're like walking downstairs and stuff. What? I swear to God, this is crude. It sounded like you just farted. You didn't hear that one. No. No, I clicked the uh, the switch on. No, but I it didn't... was after the switch. No, I didn't hear. Watching them. <laughs> that might have been the door. It was a. Uh... Well, I looked at him like, "Gabe, I know you did not just do that." Yeah, that door makes up <laughs> crazy sound. Okay, okay, I know yeah, I heard. I, I, I heard something. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I heard. Like, uh -huh. But I mean, I don't know how you call it. I did hear it. That's the second time. But I heard were it. you no, moving no, the door? No, wasn't, wasn't the door. Nope. I mean, did you move the door just now, Rodney? Yeah. After we. I know, no, like right before. Right no, no, right before. Okay, well, let's be quiet. If you made a noise, can you do it again, please? I heard it. It's a second time. Can you do it again, so we know, so we know it's you? Because right now we're confused by what we heard. We don't know if it was you or if it was us. Yeah, that was strange. I did hear it, it the second time. It was yeah, like. Like it's an open space. It's hard to debunk it though because we were on the internet. I know. That's the thing, and we were talking.